All right, welcome back to Epic Tavern. We're in Tola's Cramped Inn. We're infamous, level eight, and we're moving right along. We have one open roster slot, and uh, so far I haven't liked anybody that uh, wanted to join. So um, it is that time of the game where we're just going to jump through here and try to earn points. So let's see here. We've got uh, 115 new patron. Uh, Elven wine, sure. Uh, yeah, 97. Uh, you got a baseball cap on? 80. Alright, I want to look at that. Hold on. There's, uh... Okay, it's like a, it's like a Viking hat. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, I guess I have. It's just a different model from that one. Right, right, so, uh, let's go. That was a terrible first round. Elvin Wine, come on. 96. 98. 95. 95 again. Uh, ugh, 60. Ooh, oh, up to 65. Yeah, I figured. I figured as much. Uh, yeah, let's talk. These are easy points. I, and I'm, I'm uh, really uh, remiss in doing the personal uh, stories. Hey, I want to talk to you. It has been 12 years since anyone cleared the Razor Gauntlet. With the reward growing every season, it went unclaimed. Alright. And now you want to mm. talk. Hey, I want to talk to you. You might ask why I'm way out here visiting your tavern. I don't have much choice. I don't know what to do with my life. Hmm, aha. Is this a quest or a hire? A level one human shaman. I think wants to be hired. Ooh, did I look at that guy before? Let's take a look. No, this is a new quest. Tell me more. That cage bug has been squealing all night. Get that thing to Elisa Bloodworth to collect the bounty before it drives away all the customers. Rattling the cage level three. Okay. Uh, all right. Anybody else got anything good here? We have more stories. Mm. Let's talk to Bart. I'm quite disapp I, I'm quite the disappointment. My family expected so much more of me. Our ways value courage and fearlessness. Fearlessness is overrated, in my opinion. Uh, Grisella wants to talk. Uh, and this is pretty easy uh, points as well. I am one of the seven sisters, or at least I used to be. Yeah, a little disjointed, but it does give us uh, good RP every time we do the stories. Um, you're new. You must be Mark. Mark Hawkins. Hey, welcome to Tola's Cramped Inn. This place isn't too shabby. Mark's the name. Right. And anybody want to be hired? Nope, but Gujarak wants to be talked to. I was born on the waves. Sailing's in me blood. My mom was a midship's woman, and my dad was an officer of the Royal Navy. All right, aha, human shaman. Mark, let's see what you got. You got a nice hat. Your combat, mind, and uh, survival. Yeah, what the heck. Thank you very much, and we'll see if we can stick you along in an adventure. And uh, get your levels up pretty quick. All right, mm. <clears throat> Bart, Elven Wine, let's go. Uh, yep, come on. Mm, Eighty-five over here. That was ooh, ninety-five, nice. Seventies, uh, that's it. I don't know what the significance between the green and the non-green. Happiness. Enjoy the menu item plus four. Happy. Right. You haven't enjoyed a menu item yet. Uh, really? Only 40? Come on. Yeah, I was worried about that. One AP left. Let's start with Dagorum. Yum. There was a slight delay. Yum. Keep going. 90. Oh, 97. Happy. Uh, can I get back? I might not be able to get back. Uh, we can just... Yeah, keep drinking. Keep drinking. Oh, I'm doomed. 50% is no good. Ooh, got lucky. 
This is no good. Got lucky again. Uh, come on. All right, well, we went much further than uh, we deserved that time. So that's it. <clears throat> Last call. All right, uh, rattling the cage. Uh, I like this one, the cage bug. It's wanted skills or mind. So right away, we're gonna bring Mark the Hawkins. Uh, he doesn't have any mind, does he? But he's gonna join 1% chance. All right. Um, he has a little bit, but, um, yeah, who do we want? Who's got, who's got the most? Would that be Grunson? Mm, yes. So Grunson, there's our 55%. What are we missing? We're missing, uh, oh, social. Uh, Mergle. Now we're at 81%. We need one more to round it out and we need, um, oh, survival. Priscilla, it actually went down. Why in the world would it go down? Sorry, Grisilla. We need somebody probably with both mind and survival. Do we have such a beast? Olaf, 89. God, that's risky. That is risky. Olaf, you're the right level, though. Uh, mind and survival. Degorum. There's 93. I'm happy with that. Let's go before I overthink it. Rattling the cage. On a crowded street, Murgle accidentally kicks over an elderly beggar's donation bowl. She yells after her. Curse you, fire mage. So she's now cursed. Great. Try not to be so, such a klutz. A small cold speck falls on Mark's nose. The heroes look up to see snow begin to fall. Looks like winter is here. All right. As the heroes haul the cage-bearing cart down the road, Grunson stops suddenly. Do you feel that? Mark nods. Earthquake, maybe. Seconds later, four enormous insects burst up to the ground beneath them. Roll them. Success. Tired and cursed and tired. Good grief. Grunson, I forgot to look at their debuffs. Grunson leaps aside at the last instant, narrowly avoiding being dragged into a hole by a giant insect that surfaces beneath him. The barbarian grabs the cart and begins hauling it solo, yelling, go, go, go. All right. Did those things seriously track us for two days to try to rescue one of their own, DeGorum says, as they maneuver the cart around a downed tree in the road. Looks that way, Grunson says, glancing over his shoulder. 70. Ooh. The, insects thrash th the insect thrashes wildly, rocking its cage as the heroes drag it down the trail in the cart. Four giant insects follow close behind, stingers primed to strike. Up ahead lies a narrow pass recently cleared after a rock slide. I don't have good luck. Man. Yes, we did it anyway. Grunson scrambles uphill as the others pull the cart, throwing himself into an enormous boulder to no effect. With a guttural growl, the barbarian grabs the base and heaves repeatedly, dislodging it. The bouncing ball of death smashes the pursuing bugs. Squish. As the town comes into view, the heroes stumble exhaustedly to haul the mutant insect through the mud on the car on a cart. Almost there, Grunson roars, redoubling his efforts. 95. I think we lost them, Grunson pants as they approach the gate. Right on cue, another dozen of the creatures burrow out of the ground. The heroes draw their weapons as Talisburg guardians rush to assist. The time for running is over. Yay. Grunson grabs a snapping stinger and uses it to swing onto the back of one of the creatures. With a grunt, he punches through the chitinous plating into the creature's brain. Four guardsmen are lost in battle, but the insects are destroyed. That must have been red shirts. Quest objective, 95%. As the heroes arrive at Alyssa's lab, the mutant insect starts thrashing wildly in its cage. Let's get this over with, Grunson pants, banging heavily on the door. Yay! The heroes roll their dice. The heroes roll their frenzied insec insectoid captive into the lab. Well, what do we have here? Alyssa says, peering at her new specimen. Leave me to my work now. Your payment is on the table near the door. All right. Nope. Combat. The party passes a little too close to an ancient tomb, and the wraith rises to attack. Yay again. The heroes defeat the wraith, which slinks back into its tomb to await the next passerby. 
For sure, Mark's gonna gain a level out of it. Yeah, he did. No, that's just hit points. It's too bad I can't see XP on here. Is he actually carrying two weapons? I don't know what this means. I think that means he is, but I can't see what it is. Mine, 95% chance. Outside, a country man of the party sees a strange, strange chalk symbols on the fence. Grunson recognizes the symbols as a code some travelers use. The kitchen of this manor apparently offers free hearty meals, which the heroes indulge in. So we'll probably get well rested. I think we had well rested. Yeah, we got well rested. The party passes a man mumbling about armored mice who wield axes. Mark mimes crazy to Grunson. All right, that's it. Don't be trying to hog more than your take of the treasure this time, barbarian, Murgle says. Grunson looks offended, snapping back. You've got your share. It's not my fault you spent it all on the first night. All right. We got 135 experience and 200 gold. We will split the gold evenly with the inn. Murgle gained cursed. We have some tired people we're going to have to deal with. Oh, dear. But, uh, yeah. Definitely, uh, the Mark character should level up. Alright, what do we got? 27, 58, 52, 33, 26. I am going to buy some mead and some Ardstown porridge. We're in good shape. No need of repair. Some mead and some Ardstown porridge. And that's it. And how's the old business summary goes? Is annoyed by the lack of work. Well, minus zero friendship, so that's good. Uh, annoyed by that. So these guys haven't gone out in a while. Alright, fine. 900 gold. What's our profit? Final profit, 602 gold. Good. Okay. So, definitely get a level up. Ooh, two of them. Grunson levels up. All right, what are we doing? We got 123, 49, 76, 95. We could use mind and social. Grunson, what do you got going on? You have mind that I could bump up for sure. Your social kind of stinks. But I could make you a, a more well-rounded character by bumping up your so social. Four points, eh? Um, let's give you one here and one here and one here and one here just for the heck of it. All right. All right. And uh, Mark Hawkins, um, you've got eight survival and seven combat. Combat isn't really something we need. You get five points. Um... Mind is something we need. So let's uh, let's start bumping you up in mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna go all the way in mind there. And uh, I think that's it. That's the only level you get. All right, good. Uh, and equipment. Oh, well, that's right. Roster. So what what do you have anyway? You have an axe, which is plus one sword and axes. And you have a simple set of robes that'll keep your naughty bits covered. Okay, so it's just simple robes. So actually, you come with gear, which is rare. Uh, then anybody comes with gear, and that uh, that doesn't give you any bonuses, but um, at least you're wearing clothes. I think some of my people are actually not wearing clothes. I can't cure cursed. No. And I don't have uh, anything else. The kitchen. The wine cellar, the kitchen, I can't even access those pages anymore. Squire for hire. Cut out the middle humanoid. Oh, we can definitely get these, though. Yeah, furniture. Wall styles. I don't know what we need to do to unlock this. Doesn't say. Alright, let's get out of here. So, 900 gold in the bank. And uh, let's assume my position behind the bar. And what do we got going on here? Anybody want to talk? Uh, Degorum wants to talk. Gerg Stoutbelly tried to hire me to kill that con artist, Brayson Pyrite. Claims she was extorting him. Okay. 
let's start with Grisilla. Elven wine, you betcha. Mm, 97. Mm, these are all green. Strengthened with buffs. Uh -uh. I still don't know what the green means. 70, that's a little risky. 80. Jump to another table. Nope, stay here with 75. Ugh. Yeah, well, saw that coming. All right. 153 gold, 10 rep. Yeah, man, we have been here forever. Huh? Grunson. Mmm, 98, sure. Mmm, 97. That was risky. Let's jump back. 95. Uh, 95. 75. Gets us over here. Only 65? No, I'm sticking with 75. Ow, 65. Uh, 50. Boo. So the red doesn't really mean bad. It just means they were have been served something they didn't like. And white apparently means who knows what. Excuse you, Elven Wine. 96. 90. 98. 97. Rolling. 90. Come on now. 60, come on. Mm, 40. Oh, 65 happy. No, uh, this is not good. 40. Yeah, yeah, well, we almost got there. 305 gold, 15 rep. Uh, we have more people that want to talk. I kind of, we don't need money, so we'll do talk. Um, okay. Our mother crossed a rival shaman and was afflicted with a blood curse, destined to die at her daughter's hands. Okay. It doesn't say... It doesn't say how much rep we got off that, so just let me look at the number. I did this before, I think. So we'll talk to Murgle. We have 2915. I'll never know what the final straw was that made my tribe leave me to the wolves midway to my first birthday. 2925. So it's 10, 10 rep. Yeah, I knew that. Um. Uh, personal info. My gold? Of course I got this legally. So what if a bag ain't got me name on it? The gold calls to me. <laughs> Alright, let's do some more drinking. Um. Or eating of porridge. 98. 98. So far so good. 97. Uh, 85. Let's jump to another. What? Boo. 8 rep. Uh, two AP left. Uh, hmm. Yeah, barbecue rat. Absolutely. 97. 96. Can we jump tables here? Yeah, I'm going to. 96. 90. Mm, 85. And 70. 70. Mm, 45. Oh. 35. Uh, okay. Can't get that 10th one. 16 rep. Not bad. Uh, let's see here. Grunson, 130. Mead, you betcha. Hey. 98. 96. Now you're down. 96. 97. You're down. 80. 65, come on, you're down. 50. Oh, 65. Oh, 35. Ah, figures. That's the 10th. 270 gold, 15 rep. No AP left. Announce last call. Alright, let's do an easy quest. This one is Spooky Harvest level 4. Free beer, level three. Mmm, beer. Uh, that sounds good. So what do we got here? Um, Murgle, you're cursed. I don't know how to get three days. Okay. So, let's do Grunson. 
and Degorum and we're already at 95 so we'll bring Mark in here level 2 and I think the level 3 Ranger I think is a good idea as well it doesn't drop it and uh, we have potential for loving people up oh, look at that social though four socials no good no good so Uloth I'm sorry you're out uh, who can give us some social Murgle is cursed who else got got who else has social uh, the land pirate sure that gives us some social so we're not gonna collapse on that um, Everybody's green except for Mark, so let's go. Free beer. Uh, I don't remember this text, so I'm going to read it. Ariel and Nightbloom stops by the tavern with instructions for their first undermarket mission. A shipment of not exactly legal glowfish will be arriving to the Retaw docks. Get to the dockside guard. Get the dark dockside guards drunk, so the smugglers can offload the ship in peace. In exchange, the heroes will receive a steady supply of the contraband fish, allowing them to sell it in the tavern. It's fish, not beer. Okay. There's nothing like the start of a new adventure, Mark declares. That's the way to start it off. Nobody gets cursed. Everybody's fine. Group of bandits jumps out of the woods, knives and swords drawn. Degorum gives the bandits a tongue lashing, lashing and lectures them about why they deserve a better life than that of common hooligans. The speech ends with, be proud of what you bring into this world. The bandits leave, newly determined to do good. Hmm. I'd rather fought and gotten some XP. Another travel. I sometimes feel like there's a greater power guiding our actions, Gudrak says. See, I don't remember this. I don't think there was an update to the game, but maybe I'm wrong. Or, you know... I don't pay attention that much to this stuff. 68. I'm trying to avoid that this is 68. The party's way is blocked by a mob of union scribes protesting unfair ink policies. A decent leader might get them to march and get out of the party's way. Cross your fingers. Ah, oh, come on. Mark stands on a crate and tries to motivate the scribes. He's the worst social we have. Instead, he just confuses them. All right, fine. Failure. Not a bad failure, though. A shepherd leads his flock of sheep across the path in front of the party. Gujarak excitedly pets all the sheep that pass by. All right, 93. The party comes upon a pile of debris blocking their path. I feel like we're going to be ambushed, says Grunson as he takes up a defensive stance. Gujarak, see if you can clear it. Clear it. I'll watch your back. What? Oh, Ugh. Ah, <sighs> several minutes into clearing the debris, Gujarak, frustrated by Grunson's laziness, complains, Screw this. I'm not doing it by myself. We'll find a different way around. Gujarak is tired from the extra labor. Well, it could be worse, I guess. All right, 95%. Try not to do anything weird, Grunson, Dugorum says as they approach the guardhouse. Remember, this is just a normal ale delivery. Do not fail. Thank you. Good evening, my friends, DeGorum says, rolling a cask of ale into the guardhouse. I'm with Tolis Cramped Inn, a newish establishment that appreciates the protections you provide. Please accept this as a token of our gratitude. Oh, we give them beer. DeGorum lists the proper spices to use in rabbit stew. We don't have a single one of those, Grunson retorts. 93... While passing an abbey, the heroes notice its windows glow orange with flame. It is under attack. Hooray. And we all gain blessed. The party rushes in, only to find that the attackers have departed. They work all night, tending to the injured monks and putting out the flames. Yay for us. Ooh, next day. This is a two-day quest. How about that? All right, I'm going to go on. I'm going to speed run the, the bar. The bar talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody was injured, right? They were just tired. Uh, 38, 36, 18. Elven wine is marked up and still 
18, 18, 18. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy some Elven wine. Yeah, order 450, that is like some expensive stuff. And, uh, barbecue rats, always a big hit. Let's order some more of that. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Uh, all right, they're all out, so nobody leveled up yet. And it's, uh, it's empty. Hmm. All right, Grisella wants to talk. Mother killed my oldest sister first as she viewed her combat prowess a threat. Yeah, that's a gruesome story. Uloth. We all bond with a certain type of animal. My friend Algoth, he bonded with a polar bear. Now I thought I had to go on some kind of spiritual quest. Nope. All right. Um, uh -huh. Bengar, what do you want? Art Sound Forge? Sure. It's going to be tough. 97. Come on. 90. Ooh, I'm over at this table. 80. Uh, 85. Down here to, no, 60. Uh, poor choice. Uh, we're getting there. Almost two-thirds of the way. New patron. Hello, Gob Sodrel. I didn't pronounce that right. Uh, 97, 96, 98, 70. All right, get it over with. Get it over with. Uh, house wine. I'd prefer elven wine because it costs more, okay? I want you all to spend some money. 80, yeah. I knew that was bad before I clicked on uh, Gob, what you got? Welcome to Tolo's Cramped Inn. All right. Uh, Mergle, you want to talk? It's possible I started fires as a newborn, maybe even hurt someone, or worse. And there's obviously the red eyes, which weren't doing me any favors. All right. Gob, I can't hire you, man. The roster's full. <clears throat> Elven wine. That's what we're talking about. Mm, 96. I risk going to this table. 80. Oh, jeez. You guys. You guys really suck. I know. You're polite, though. Mm. House wine. Yep. And no requests nearby. That stinks. One AP left. Murgle wants to talk. Let's do the talking. So my tribe left me to die. And I would have. Had it not been for the kind-hearted human who heard my cries. All right. Last call. Next day. Returning in triumph. Party awakens to find some of their supplies gone. A thief is about. Don't fail. Yay. Following the tracks, they come across the thief. They tackle the elf and retrieve their supplies, but she vanishes before they can truss her up. Hmm. Uh, Mark spots the mage college in the distance. The exterior appears to be charred today. The dragon must have escaped again, he chuckles. Yeah, the less, uh, the less combat, the better. The adventurers march with serious intent, eyes on the goal ahead of them. Yeah, it's a long, long... Track. Oh, 93. Degorum just saw a flash of light in a nearby brush. Over there, Degorum yells as he runs over to investigate. Yay. Degorum gained protection from magic attacks. Wow. Party receives one binker tail. Ooh. Treasure. Oh my, how adorable, Degorum exclaims as he picks up an illuminated flurry. I'm going to name it Blinker Tell. Mm, I don't actually know what that is, but we'll have to look at our loot. A sad, low groan is heard from just over the hill. The party agrees to check it out. Come on, this time. Come on. Ugh. The source seems to be a crying giant. While attempting to console him, the party is drenched in tears. They leave uncomfortably soaked. Um, tired. Blessed. 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 I don't think we lost anything. Okay. Don't be trying to hog more of your take of the treasure this time, Land Pirate, Grunson says. 
You got your share. It's not my fault. You spent it all the for Yeah, we saw that. All right. And we got a blinker tell, whatever that is. And we'll have to look. And some experience and some money. And Gujarat getting tired. All in all, not too shabby. And we're right at 30 minutes. How about that? But I'm going to hopefully do a level up here first. Uh, 32, 49, 35, 44, cancel. Um, I'm going to order some mead, some more mead, and some chicken wings. Mead, please. And chicken wings down at the bottom. And uh, I guess I can... Uh, let's get some sparkling fairy water for the heck of it. That's pretty cheap, isn't it? It is. And uh, I'm overstocked as it is. Uh, we'll just we'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, we should have at least one level up. We do. Mark Hawkins gets to level up again. And so what are we going to give you here? Um, like I said, combat is not something that we need a lot of. Um, we really need social and you don't have it then mind, then survival. So I'm gonna bump your mind up a little bit. One, two, uh, three, and then we'll do your survival by one, and we'll be happy. And nobody's injured, right? You're just tired or cursed, and that's about it. So all right, there we go. Um, and we do have a quest for next time, and uh, so another week. Another episode. Maybe I'll do two episodes this week. I don't know if I have the time. Uh, I, I really I really enjoy this game. Have we met Gob before? Well, we don't have a roster slot, so it doesn't matter. And we have about this much to go. I really enjoy this game every time I play it. Um, I don't know how fun it is to watch, but I can honestly say I, I do enjoy playing it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you later.